Autobot's Dylor gives Chromedome the power of Nemo surgery, the ability to access and edit another bot's memories. T Man 978 Chill Review Hello everyone, T Man 978. It's funny that the Titan Masters give the Autobots the abilities to do things they were already capable of doing in the first place. But, eh, whatever Hasbro wants them to do. Anywho, here is the tech spec card. Get that picture right there. The head looks kind of smaller than it should. And actually, let's see. It actually looks different. I guess it looks like the original head, probably, because... This is definitely the IDW Comics head. And there's this stuff right here. As you can see, he gets very brainy when Styler gets on him. But anywho, this figure is stepping it up paint-wise. On the packaging, it looks like the weapon is actually painted red just like the chest, but it's not. So, yeah... Unfortunately, the extra paint put some hindrance or took some quality away from other areas. Like, I love the way that's painted. The, the gut is painted, paint down there. This foot is actually painted brown unless I'm seeing things. Here's some silver up there. And all the paint and detail and whatnot comes around to... What the hell? Look at this. What happened to his ass? Why would it need so many holes? I mean, what, oh my goodness. Hasbro, what? what is the deal right here? I mean, come on. I, I know cheap, but damn. But anyway, as you can see, the paint is still continued back here. And they gave us something they took away during Combiner Wars. Transparent parts. I don't know why, because as you can see, they used that transparency for the tire, so they could have had that move over to combine the worst figures as well. But he looks good. You can see he's definitely reminiscent of the IDW comics. So let's do some comparisons. When I first saw this guy, I thought he was a retool of this mold right here, this prowl mold or dead end mold, but it's a reimagining of that same design. It transforms exactly the same way, to be honest. The only thing that doesn't happen is the top of the car folds down onto the feet. But here's the top of the car right here for him. And new engineering, he actually has toes that can rock forward and back. And that, that works good for, like, walking poses. But... The articulation is exactly the same. It's like amazing, but their bodies are completely different. And um, maybe Chrome Dome is even, even lighter somehow. They made the plastic a little bit more thin, which uh, if it gets any more thin, I don't know what's going to happen. You have to have these two together. There you go with that. Here's another IDW Comics character who I love, and I, I don't even hear anything about him. People care more about the Hurricane Upgrade Kit. Here are the three deluxe Autobots I own so far. And I'm going to keep Blur out here because these two have something in common. Number one, they have the exact same gun. Just Chrome Domes isn't painted. And they're Titan Masters are also similar. Here is Stylor and here is Hyperfire. They share the exact same body, the exact same face, except Stylor's face isn't painted at all. It looks like a piece of jello stuck onto some chocolate or something. I mean, the, uh, how much would it take from the budget to put a splat of paint? You see how big this head is compared to my finger? Like, man. Here's a close-up on the face. 
It's painted mostly good, but looking in the camera, I can see that the mouth guard wasn't painted all the way up into the corner. And the blue isn't completely filled in. This bright red of the back of his head is very noticeable compared to this creamy gray color that his head normally has. Just because I'm going to start putting all the Autobot heads on the Autobot Deluxes and all the Decepticons heads on the Decepticons, but there's blur. The body looks way too stocky for blur. Or should I say hyper fire? I don't know. Hard head? That looks kind of okay. Except it's green in the back, but whatever. Night beat. And Loudmouth. I think this is the head that's designed to be generic to anybody. He can pretty much fit on any of the bots because it's just gray with a little bit of blue and red in it. And the red matches. And of course the blue would match blur. And the gray would match hard head. Transformation. Take the gun out of his hand. Come over there. Grab the back. Like lift that up. And this does, it, earlier it was on there super tight. I could almost not get it off, but this is wafer thin. But here's how they try to justify it. Just like I mentioned this in the blur review. Like they put something else there to fill in the place. So that fills there and make you feel like, oh, they're not being cheap. But anyway, shut the hands. Rotate the waist around. I guess you could plug these together and try to keep that plug open the panels right here on the legs shut them just like prowling everybody a lot of other people from combiner wars the feet should go in up like this shut that and make sure this is actually shut they gotta like tab together and basically bring the arms in which do tab in right there. Mine's does have this ugly silver paint mishap right there, which I don't care for. There's that, and basically you have him in his car mode, which is super duper G1 accurate. Let's take Stylor, sit him in here. And I don't like, what I don't like about him is he doesn't seem to sit in there secure. He doesn't tab in any, any type of way. Now we can hinge this forward. And these tab into the front of the car. So there you have Chrome Dome. Fully transformed. And I really like the red paint up here. That looks really, really nice. But of course you can put a weapon here, you can put this side car weapon here, grab a little Titan Master, put their arms up like that, peg the little feet in the front of it, maybe take this gun from over there, put that there, so now he is a target master like I keep mentioning. And here's a comparison against everybody I compared him to earlier. <laughs> like, here's Prowl. They're roughly about the same size. Blur is more narrow than anybody. Tailgate slash rear end. And you know which one of these figures was the toughest for me to transform for this comparison. Tailgate. He's a little bit wider, but eh, same mess or whatnot. Oh, one more thing I want to show you guys before I do my ending stuff. And one more thing before that. One thing they didn't think about, I don't know what's the best way to open this because it pegs in deep right there. So it's like he's basically in there. You just have to half transform the arms and put your fingernail under there to get it open, which is most unfortunate. Just like Skull Smasher can have a weird alternate head mode. Chrome Dome, and I stole this from a post on a Repro Labels um, group on Facebook from a Joel Ong, J-O-L, 
ONG. Chrome Dome has a GoBot mode. <laughs> well, my friend Zero said he should be called Rim Job. I guess that's referencing some one of the GoBots names, but I was thinking Drive or or Car or something stupid like that. But yeah, it works as a real GoBot mode. So, any overall complaints I have with this dude? The arm articulation, although it's just like Prowl's, it kind of doesn't look right. I, I don't like it. It can, shoulders can hinge up a bit. Not like Prowl's, but I don't like the way that looks. Because it looks like he has way less of a bicep. This little toe can come off easy, just like Rewind's toe. And... The head can come out very, very easy. Super duper easy. I don't know if that's just my copy or or all of them. But I do like that IDW face. And I love the amount of paint work that they put on him. So, eh. He's not all that magical. But he is good and he will do for my Chug Chrome Dome. But anyway... I like him. He's cool. If you like this video, definitely click the like button. Definitely click that video right there or that video right there. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. What's wrong with you? Comment. Share. T-Man 978 out of here. Until next time.